I've seen this video floating around the world of YouTube and the interwebs and it is the 50 facts about me video. I just thought this video would be a really fun video to film and also it would be really cool because it also lets you guys know a little bit more about me as well. So I will get started. I am 5 foot 4.5 inches. Now those 0.5 inches make all the difference. I have size 3 feet, which makes wearing heels very, very painful, but it also means that I get to buy shoes from the children's section. The view from my bedroom window is miles and miles of fields and forest. There is literally not another house in sight. Lilies are my favourite flowers. I have never been to a funeral. I used to pretend that I couldn't swim in swimming classes so that I would never have to go in the deep end where all the children had to swim underwater because I never wanted to get my hair wet or wear a swimming cap. So I used to put my feet on the ground whenever we did swimming tests to determine which group we were going to be put in and it worked and I never had to go swim down the deep end. I was an extra in Harry Potter 1 and Harry Potter 2 but you can't see me. I did still get to wear the uniform though and in year one I was in Hufflepuff and in year two I was in Slytherin. I was also an extra in Cranford which is a period drama and they did a Christmas special and you can see me in that wearing a bonnet and no makeup. When I really really like a song, I mean really like it, I will play it on repeat over and over and over for days on end until I don't like the song anymore. On my own Pretending he's beside me. Stop singing, Zoe. I'm secretly a very messy and unorganised person. Lucky Charms are my favourite cereal, yet we don't have them in the UK. There is something very wrong about that. When I was 16, I chopped all my hair off to here and I absolutely hated it and couldn't wait for it to grow back and since then I have never gone short again because I'm terrified. When I was little, I had blonde ringlets, which is very different to how my hair is now. My blog URL was originally showy.blogspot.com and the reason that I called it that was because that is how I said Zoe when I was younger because apparently I couldn't say my name correctly, so showy was how I said my name. <sighs> kind of love Philip Schofield, just a little bit, secretly. Just love him. I have a phobia of vomit. Now, apparently this is very common and... A lot of people suffer with this phobia, but you know, just thought I'd let you know, I have a phobia of vom. Mashed potato is my favourite food. I will eat it with everything. The Isle of Wight is one of my favourite places to visit. It's just full of lots of memories and I used to go there quite a lot as a child and I am super excited to go there in a few weeks. I desperately miss old Saturday night TV. I say they bring back Blind Date with Scylla and R. Graham and bring back things like the generation game because Saturday nights are just not the same anymore. My family is so big, I don't even know some of my cousins. One of my favourite songs of all time is Fields of Gold by Eva Cassidy. Very sad, very depressing, but I love it. I am rubbish at applying false eyelashes. Just rubbish. I bruise like a peach. You could poke me in the arm and it will leave a massive bruise. I used to have two goldfish. One was called Rosie, one was called Jim. They did not live on a canal boat. They lived in a tank. Me and my friend once sold A4 posters and wild flowers in bunches to tourists in our village because we wanted to make money to buy sweets. I would call that very savvy and, you know, entrepreneurial. Others would call it a bit skanky. <laughs> I am completely useless at texting back or getting back to people. If you're watching this and you know how useless I am, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It must drive people mental. I don't smoke, I never have, and I never will. I used to have a whole one of my bedroom walls completely covered in black and white photos printed out from the computer of me and all my friends and all my family. It's gone now though. The film Marley and Me, you know, the one with the dog, uh, watched it in the cinema, absolutely bald. So much so that I even cried in the car journey on the way home from the cinema and the stupidest thing about that is that I have never had a dog. The only way I'll ever eat fish fingers is if they're so overcooked they're almost black. When I'm cold I get extremely grumpy and snappy until I can be somewhere warm to defrost. I once saw the singer Paloma Faith in a shop and I turned to my friend and I said Oh my god, there's Paloma Faith. My friend then replied, I'm not too sure who that is. And I went, yes you do, you do know who that is. Got my phone out to show my friend the album art so that it would sort of jog her memory. 
showed her the album art, started playing her album out loud in the shop. She looked over at me as if to say, really, you're playing my music while I'm about two inches away from you? And I honestly wanted the ground to swallow me up. I actually started getting into making videos and editing videos when I was probably around the age of 10. I used to take photos of, and short video clips of me and all my friends and I'd edit them all on Movie Maker and put songs in the background and have slideshows and funky transitions between things and then I'd save them and I actually have all of them saved onto a disc. I once sat and watched a Spider-Man movie with Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Grint and Emma Watson which was interesting. Tango Ice Blasts are the best thing about going to the cinema. I love those. I almost wish I had a Tango Ice Blast machine in my bedroom. It's gonna be done. When I'm older, one of the things I would really, really like to do is to design my own house and then live in it because that would be really freaking cool. I used to be massively addicted to The Sims. I would be on that game from the moment my eyes opened to the moment my eyes closed at night repeat 24 hours a day, seven days a week, I was on The Sims. I've been writing my beauty blog for four years now. That's a long time and that seems to have absolutely flown by. My very first proper job was in a cafe and I absolutely hated it. I will never be working with food ever again. Speaking of foods, mushrooms and tuna fish are my least favourite foods. Even talking about them is making me feel a little bit sick. I'm scared of spiders, wasps, bees, ladybirds or ladybugs, anything that crawls or flies besides aeroplanes and babies. As much as I love hot chocolate, I can never finish one. Even if you give me a small hot chocolate, I'll never be able to finish it. I always leave a little bit at the bottom. I'm not really too sure why. I can't leave any baked beans in the can when I'm emptying them into a saucepan to eat them. I have to make sure I've tapped out every single baked bean. It's kind of become a bit of an OCD thing with me and even if I can't tap the bean out, my very last resort will have to be getting a spoon to scoop the remaining baked bean in. I've kept a secret diary from the age of 10 until now. This is it, <laughs> 12 years of writing in a secret diary and there is some juicy stuff in this. Sometimes I feel like I'm a little bit psychic and I can almost predict what people are gonna say and I think in my head before it happens. It's weird and now you all think I'm a complete weirdo but I swear sometimes I'm a little bit psychic. I can read your mind. I am an extremely empathetic person. If you cry, I will most probably cry with you even though I'm fine. I pretty much live in comfy PJ bottoms or joggers because if I don't need to be anywhere or do anything, I'm, pff, why not? I have been driving for four years and I passed my driving test on the third attempt. I once wrote an entire fictional book based on a girl who fancied her next door neighbour and wanted to make him fall in love with her, spent months and months writing it, printed it all out on A4 paper, it probably was about this thick, I have no idea where it's gone and there's no way of me ever tracing back to the original file on the computer, so that was fun and interesting but goodness knows where it is now. And last but not least, I am terrified of the sea or the ocean. Swimming around, oh look, little fish, or coral, I can still stand, I can still stand, I can see things around me and I can still get up out of the water and it'll only be up to my knees. The second you can see miles and miles and miles below you, and you, you can just see until it goes black. What if something just came up out of there and just, oh, it just bothers me that I could see for miles down and all the fish were getting smaller and smaller, but the small ones at the bottom were probably not even that small. Anyway, I don't like to swim in the sea. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and it allowed you guys to see a little bit more into my life and find out a little bit more about me. I would love it if you could leave any interesting facts about you because obviously now you know a lot more about me and I just never know anything about you guys so do let me know some interesting fun things about you that I can read in the comments or even better idea, film a video response and leave it down below and I can watch that as well. Do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you very soon. Goodbye! Video. Blah. I have a really nice video for you guys to get to know a little bit of bit a little bit of ball. Never have to go down down the deal. Daniel Radcliffe, that's his name.
Yeah, Harry Potter, that one. Gained, gained. Mm. Apply it on my face. As you know, you apply a mask, it's kind of standard procedure. I leave it on for around five to ten minutes. Next, I like to apply. 